Yo, what's up, YouTube? We back with another banger. I don't know if that's what you <laughs> All right, I just I just gotta get some stuff on my chest, okay? So I watched the new episode of Loki, and I'm sitting here, I'm trying to get my thoughts together, and there is one constant throughout this entire show. Sylvie is a dumbass. I'm, it's it's so mind-boggling how stubborn a character can be that it, they are written. It is ridiculous. So this is like minor spoilers for Loki season two. But it's like, it's mine. It's about character development. I mean, it, the the problem is from season one till now. But like, it, just, just letting you know, in case you want to go into this completely blind. So the whole, Sylvie's whole like philosophy. So basically, um, after, okay. So Sylvie's whole goal in season one was to, to kill, was to destroy the TVA basically. To, to find the man behind all of it and kill him, right? You find out at the end that, hey. He's the only one that's keeping the timeline in control. And if you kill him, then the timeline will go out of whack. And then all these different branches, which will release an army of King the Conquerors to destroy the multiverse, right? So you spend that whole last episode, with basically the, the last half of the episode, which is Loki and Sylvie fighting about like, we should save, I'm not save, we should uh, not kill the uh the one the the man who remains the, the the guy who's like not the king conqueror but like the head of the tva not kill him because that's gonna fuck up timelines right but sylvie's like they are the reason that my family's dead this and third, even though she's a fucking murderer like oh I'm, you you don't ask the victims how they feel like the fuck i mean they they say that in the episode but it's like bro like are you serious like let's come on now fucking hypocrite start a one but that's okay because it's like okay she kills him and that releases like all these different rivals of, of timelines or whatever, right? Season two, they are learning that, hey, the timeline, they're branching out so much, it's going to cause the, the time branch to basically explode and basically destroy the existence as itself. And Sylvie is like, well, I don't care. The TV needs to be destroyed. Bro, are you not listening to yourself? You're... And, it, it's like she's on this like fucking high horse. The entire show was like, oh, like the TV are, are ruining lives. They're like these people, um, they had a life on the timeline, bitch. Without these people, there will be no timeline. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, why is this? Why is this a a a a argument? Why is this constantly have to fight her over? We need to save the TV and Loki, bro, Loki, cause like. In the first season, they kind of like develop a thing, which is kind of weird. Like having loving your your timeline self, like your another version of yourself, is kind of weird. But she, he's a narcissist; it makes sense. But Sylvie is fucking stupid. It's like every time they show up to convince her, she's like, "Yeah, I know the timeline isn't going to exist, but this is what we need." Like, what you talk? What she ha she has no solution to any problems, but is okay with the the, the universe being destroyed, the the existence itself ceasing to exist. That doesn't make any sense. It, it, If you take a moment to think, even on an emotional standpoint, like, hey, I don't like these people. But if they don't, like, even if it's like some, like, okay, we let them, we're going to manage, like, how we do shit. No, they're like, we need to get rid of all of it. Just so stubborn, like, oh, it's all or nothing. Like, the, like you have options here. Like, why the fuck is this... Uh, an argument why is this like a, a debate like what the fuck like it's it's simple just hey we're gonna save the tba but we're gonna do things differently not we have to tear it all down because because the tba is so bad tba is so bad i bet you there's a shit ton of people that you have murdered or this and a third that would think you're bad and deserve to die like what the fuck like oh but they, they did something they wronged me in the past so i i, I have to destroy them like but what type of the dumb shit is that i'm sorry i'm so it's like saying hey we're gonna kill like um I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna uh, bring down this corporation, right? And it's like, hey, if we bring down this corporation, uh, all these people are, that deserve better pay and raise stuff like that. Let's let's say, okay, we're gonna take down corporate. You have two options: either destroy the corporation or you become the head of the corporation and you can change from the inside, right? They're like destroy the corporation. Okay, well, all these people that you want to be better now are jobless. I think. Becoming the head of the corporation and fixing things from the top down is easier than destroying everything and fucking everyone over. I'm sorry, that's that's how I feel. It's like it's and it took it took 
if we're not including season one, it took five whole episodes to convince this bitch that it's a bad thing that the TV is destroyed. When she saw the dude that she connected with fucking die, it's like, oh my, the, the, the music shop man die. To like, oh my god, hey, the universe is unraveling. No shit, Sherlock, we told you like four episodes ago. Like, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> we need to bring back the TV and we need, we need to fix this. Like, we've been trying to fix it for the past fucking four episodes and, and you were stopping us, you stupid bitch. <laughs> It's pissing me off because it's like, bro, why? Why is it so difficult? It, it's like if you ever watch Mission Impossible Fallout and Henry Cavill tells a guy, why are you making this so fucking difficult? Like, it, it literally does not make sense. It doesn't make sense. It's like, bruh, it, she is like, she is one of those characters where it's like, she doesn't have any solution but she tears down every other solution to everyone else has. It's like, I don't know how to fix it, but how you want to fix it is wrong. Like, what the fuck are you here for? Like, the fuck? Like, honestly, sometimes I wish we would just write our own. I, w I wish Kang would come in and just kill the bitch so we can be over with. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. It's so, every time she's on screen, it's so annoying. And if the last episode's like, oh my God, we have to fix this. We need to fix this on the third. Like, bitch, you should have thought that fucking three weeks ago. The fuck? But too busy wanna. I've never seen someone so in love with at being working at fucking McDonald's, okay? Fucking making fries and sides. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? Like, what the? oh, I they ha they have a life on the timeline. Yeah, the timeline is gonna be destroyed. Duh. Maybe we should do something about that. Hmm. No. You never thought about that? Fucking stupid. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. There's fucking two brain cells, and it's like. It's so unbearable. It's it's so crazy. It or like the whole Victor Tom thing. We need to kill him because he becomes Kang. Even though you know from an instance how different timelines have different um, people are different. Bitch, you're the lo you're talking to a different timeline version of yourself and you know how different he is. He doesn't end up like you, so like but we have to destroy him. He, he, he's, he's already being corrupted. No evidence at all. He just has the notebook that was given to him by the, the, the black chick. But no, no, we, 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 ha we have to, we have to destroy him. Because he, from the infinite spanning universe, they're all the same no matter what. What? Even though you were... Even though you was in a land beyond time... Where all the Lokis are dead and you can visibly see how different each of them were. Fucking Thor was a frog. Like, what the fuck are we talking about here? But they're all listening. This is fucking stupid. I'm just... Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I missed the scene that explained why she's so stubborn as a bitch. But it's like, bro, at this point, I'm tired of the character. I'm so sick. And don't come in here with that. Oh, you hate her because she's a woman. I don't give a shit. I literally just ran about Kratos being annoying like this. So don't even do that. It's like, bruh, god damn. It's like, what the fuck? I can't have to, every time she's on the on the TV screen, I am annoyed because she doesn't have a solution and she, do, she doesn't help anything. If she wasn't a recurrent, like, if she wasn't, what, what solution did she solve? If we're talking about it, maybe helping at the end of season, uh, episode four, where, like, they're hunting down, um, uh, miss minutes or whatever and trying to find victor timely but honestly loki could have done that i mean we keep it a bean but like i i, I, I maybe i need to rewatch the season because sometimes it feels like and it's been like a, a week since i saw the last episode it, it feels like she doesn't do anything she shows up complains and then it's just like that's that's her recurrent thing hopefully the season finale it it she like you know understands now the problem you know what i mean and it's like i mean i, I know you have gripes with this the tva but this is bigger than that so we need to get past our emotions and let's save the multiverse come on now this is bigger than oh my god they ruined my life like fucking grow up okay you're fucking 30 now okay god damn like jeez shit you've done a lot worse now the amount of people you killed in the show like come on like what are we doing here Anyway, that is it for me. I just had to get this rant off. Um, my next video will be about the whole MCU fumbling blade because, like, they can't make a black dude. 
that kill vampires. Like, what the fuck are we doing here? Like, what? But that's a whole different tangent. So I'm gonna just <laughs> hope you enjoyed this. Cause this is this is crazy. Oh my god. And the show was so good. I like it. There's so many cliffhangers. And you're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And Obi is just goaded. So, that's all I got. Thank you. I'm out here. Peace.